Well, wasn't there some something about Alpo, like the girl that you were with, or you were messing My with? My man girl. That's because, that's because when he went out of town, I got a big homie named Ray. He died. Uh, he died. R.I.P. My nigga. Not Ray for the rap, but my Ray from around Trinidad, 16th Street. So, um, it was a dude, Black Jesus, um, was fucking with my best friend, baby mother, mother. So we trying to get some shit. Ray was like, man, Slim got it. He got uptown lock. He got it. So we said, holler at him. He hollered at us. We became cool. So he came back to Ray and was like, man, where these niggas selling all this shit at? Ray was like, that same street you see her mother at? Right there. He said, that little street pump like that? I'm like, yeah. So um, we started fucking with Slim for a minute, like a good month, <sighs> probably a month, if that. He was like, if I make so much money off y'all, cool. I'm going to turn y'all on to the plug. I'm good. Turn us on to the plug. We fuck with the we fuck with the Colombian. Our Puerto Rec come back and play beeping us, leaving whatever he leaving on his beep. We looking at that shit, man. Whatever. So I'm talking shit to Dre. We can serve you, bitch, nigga. I'm young. I'm talking shit, Dre. Like man, you a wild nigga. So that shit went on. We bumped into him and we bumped into our Puerto Rec somewhere. So our Puerto Rec hollered at Dre and I was like, man, what's up, man? I got some shit. Y'all ain't hit me, Dre. I'm like, yeah, we good. We getting shit for like 14. He was like, I can't fuck with that. But if, I, if, I, if we ever run out, I'm here. Dre was like, cool. Think nothing of it. Probably a week later, a little bit time later, he seen Dre girlfriend at the pageant corner. This is when the bullshit come in. He went to the um the cameraman, got her, got her, gave the cameraman a thousand or something for a picture. The cameraman was like, I can't see I ain't gonna try to sell your picture. Just tell her I got it. So she came back, you know, put up Polaroids back in the day. You fan, we gotta leave them on a, we gotta leave them right there till they develop. So he took the joint. She came back for a picture. Dude, camera dude, like, Alpo, New York Alpo got it. Alpo the Rec got it. So um, you ain't, I ain't sell your picture, Miss Lady. He got it. He gonna give it back. So he went over, she went over there. Get my, he tried to talk to her. Get my picture back. Get my picture back. Come on, try to talk to her. So she told Big Ed Gary, you know my fiance, Gary. Big Ed Gary say, fuck that nigga. So... Poe ain't getting no, Alpo the Red ain't getting no place, so he gave the picture back. She came home and told us. So Dre was like, I'm going to show them niggas you don't need money to fuck nobody, bitch. I was like, who you going to fuck? Poe, baby, what was fussing? He was like, nah, I'm going to fuck Big Ed Gary, bitch. So I'm like, man, fuck the bitch then. And that's when more bullshit came in. So Dre got her, fucked her. She was on my nigga line. I seen Big Ed Gary pull me up down a carnival and was like, Lil Sparkies, where your man at? I said, I don't know about what's up. He was like, man, he owe me $10,000. Tell him I want it. I said, man, he don't owe you nothing. If he owe you anything, I know about it. So I was about to argue with him, but he ain't even do no argue. He said, man, whatever the fuck. Tell him nigga I want my money. He took off, got in his car and pulled off. So I immediately get on the car phone, call Dre. Dre up heck on Jamal, shoot up heck on Jamal. I'm like, this nigga Big Ed Gary said he owe him $10,000. He said, man, nah, I don't. I know what it's about. I said, man, fuck that nigga. So I grabbed my gun, jumped in the passenger seat. We went down to Carnival. Big Ed Gary was coming up in this, he had a 300 twin turbo step, U-turn. We pulled over. Dre get out talking to him. So I'm in the passenger seat with my gun just chilling. They talked for about a good 10, 15 minutes. Gary had somebody with him. The dude, out, the little young nigga out, got out the car with Gary. So I jumped out the car with my gun in my hand. So um, Gary like, hey, Sparkies, don't put no guns on nobody, man. What's wrong with you? So I'm like, man, your man get out the car. Why you get out the car? Y'all talking. Why he, your man get out the car? So Dre telling me, Gary telling Dre, man, tell him put that gun up, man. Dre like, man, get in the car. So I ain't getting nowhere, man. I, I ain't, ain't listening to Dre this time. I said, I ain't going nowhere. I said, man, tell this man get back in the car. I'm going to get back in the car. If not, fuck them niggas. So Gary talking. Dre, I, I ain't listening to none of that shit. I'm just looking at this man with my gun in my hand. I'm like, man, whatever. So Gary finally told his little man get in the car. I got in the car. They talk five more minutes, shake hands. Dre get in the car, we pull off. So what the fuck that was about? Dre like, man, he mad because I fucked this bitch. He said he go home to his girl every day, saying how much a good dude you is. If he was to die, he wouldn't mind her fucking with Dre. 
Then turn around, you fucking my bitch. So he begged Dre and asked Dre, man, please stop fucking my bitch. So Dre shook hands on it, then not to fuck his bitch. So when I'm in Dre Drive, I looked at Dre like, what you wanna do, nigga? You wanna stop fucking her? He be like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop fucking her. I say, you ain't gonna fuck her one last time? He be like, I'm gonna fuck her one last time. I say, man, fuck that bitch one last time. So Dre fucked her, cut her off. So she mad. She called Andre Dre to get her people's change, sell them a change and everything. The bitch stalking my nigga. So she tried to say, are you scared of Gary? We ain't wanna hear that shit. Dre gave his word, he ain't fucking the bitch no more. So she get in an argument with Gary and tell Gary she pregnant by my nigga, which she wasn't, mm. to make him jealous. So that's when the Colombian nigga went out of town and had no shit. We still had probably 20 bricks. So Dre was like, we had an AJ promotion company, Andre Johnson promotion company. We about to move to Cali and try to do this rap shit back then. So Dre was like, I said, man, he called me like, man, fuck them niggas, too much shit going on. Fuck them niggas. He was like, man, we get, I'm gonna get this shit one last time for extra spending money. I'm like, man, we really don't need this shit. I'm saying to myself, I'm like, man, fuck them niggas. He took off. I'm waiting on him, waiting on him, waiting on him. I'm talking to him. I'm in the house, nigga. I'm counting money. I said, I'm about to come out there. Wait on me. I got to come back past you. I'm with my baby mother. I was on the high rise. I can look out the high rise and see BW Parkway. So I'm like, man, don't leave me. I'm going with you. So um, he take, I'm, I'm calling him. I'm counting the money, nigga. I'm about to make me something neat. So I'm like, man, don't forget me. Lay down my baby mother. I'm fucking my baby mother. I'm laying there. She go get a rag. Wash me up. Man, I felt that motherfucking gunshot. I jumped up, bitch. My nigga. Put my clothes on, call everybody. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, everybody looking for Dre. Nobody found him. I said, where you met? I'll pull the rat. So I said, I know all the spots we meet him at. I went to all the spots we meet him at. He wasn't there. But I'll pull the rat knew that. So they took my man from one of the spots we met him at on the highway to the next exit. And and put his and, and dumped his truck off with him in the back in the alley. So when I came back from all the spots, his father was like, we gotta go to the mall. They found Rad Body, which is Dre older brother. Cause Dre always uses ID. They go for twins to a degree. But we knew who it was. So we went over there, me, his brother and his father, it was Dre. So I'm telling everybody. I don't know, put it, I don't know if WP pulled the trigger, MJ or Big Ed. Or I'll pull the rep. I don't know which one put it. So I said, man, he went to meet him, I don't know, pull the trigger. We're gonna see him, we're gonna get everybody. Fuck him. If I see any one of them, we're gonna get at him. So time go past probably a week or two. I got a bra. I'm driving past the Metro Club. I see Kale the rat and she go to Rat Car front. I pull over. With the broad and I said, I'll be back, I'm running the Metro Club. Went in the Metro Club. So I go in the Metro Club, I see them niggas by the door. I'm like, what y'all niggas doing up here? Y'all ain't even telling me y'all was coming. I'll pull the red on my heels. Sparky, let me holler. So, man, what's up, Slim? Man, you saying, you telling girls I had something to do with Drake getting killed? I say, man, why would I tell a bitch that? I said, I think you had something to do with my nigga. I'm going to see you about it. I tell no bitch my business. He said, man, I ain't got, he, he snitched on Big Head Gary off the top. I ain't got to do with that Big Head Gary Capriche. Gary did that shit. I love y'all, man. We cool, man. You need anything? Call me, man. Gary did that shit. He shook his, he put his hand out, shook his hand. He left. I turned around to these niggas. I said, man, why the fuck y'all ain't tell me these bitch ass niggas was in here? I'd have been home. I'd have got my chopper. I'd have been out front waiting on them bitch niggas. So I'm mad at them niggas. I'm like, why the fuck y'all ain't tell me them niggas was in here? Then here come old W. Here come my bitch come beside me. Then here come old WP trying to talk to a bitch beside me. Hey, baby, you fat. But he trying to see how I look for real. Hey, baby, then y'all be saying how I look. And fuck you then, bitch. And he took back off and went back where I pulled a rat in them. I looked at these niggas, supposed to be my homies. I was so mad. So you bitch ass niggas ain't tell me what I, I left. So I called my little Merlin little man. The Bama's in here. Bring the chopper. So I met him. I let the bitch keep my legs. I told her to beat it. Jumped in the car with him. Went back down to Matt. I seen an MPV van sitting right there. I said, well, they're getting in this van. And across from the Met, on the same side as the Met, 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 is 18 wheelers, but it's the trailer parts. So I was in the back of the trailer, posted up on an MPV van. 
They ain't go to that NBA. I stayed out there till like six in the morning. The Metro people started coming out, getting in their cars. I got out the joint, I left. So the next day, she go to rec, call me. Big head around here. I said, bet. I'm on my way. Drop the bitch off. Pew, shot. Ran away. Some, it was fluke. That shit was fluke. So we ran and tried to hit Gary. We missed. She go left me. I'm shooting by my man. It was some bullshit. So we rolled out. Fucked up. So Gary called himself looking for us. Some old wild bullshit. Then, then he got killed. Then I think I put a retinum tricked him.